Yes. And finally, the one more thing. Metroid Prime 4. Uh, beyond. Finally they, revealed. Let's go. They put a little tagline on it. Yeah. It was so Cosmic Gear 20X9. Galactic Federation Research Facility. Yeah. So that came up immediately. Everybody You're knows like, what this is. Metroid. I'm like, yeah. Well, what kind of Metroid? So that's this the thing, the is that they show this, and I legitimately thought this was Prime Remake 2 and 3. I didn't think this was Prime at first. And then she well, ju the jump. The jump, the sound, and then does it do the pan around? Yes, it yes, does. yes. The ju the the triple flip jump. I was like, all yeah. right, this is no, this, this is, is prime. This is prime four, yeah. But then this, I was like, oh, is this just the uh, remake again? No, I knew this wasn't the remake. This is this is a, none of the prime games look like this. I mean, the remake looks fucking good. The remake looks no, but I mean, like in terms of like you're in the middle of a fucking war zone. Yeah, none of them look like this. Yeah, yeah. None of them have anything active in the environment yeah. going on. You're all alone. So like, this is something new. This is like, in, this is like, this is, I knew immediately, this is what we've been waiting for. This yeah. is what we've been waiting seven years. This game was announced in 2017, seven years ago. Mm -hmm. I didn't have kids then. I wasn't <laughs> wow. married then. I didn't have a house. Jesus and Christ. now here we are. This, this, is, this looks great. This, this looks phenomenal. This does look really good. Now, uh, yes. Here's the, here's the question, because the end the title screen right here clearly states Nintendo Switch, and that it's coming. Uh, I believe they actually say it's coming. Yeah, 2025. They say 2025. Yeah. Yes. And the which we kind of knew. The logo says Nintendo Switch. Yeah. This does it, not look like a Switch game. So this part looks crazy. Yeah, I gotta be. On, I'm. I'm saying it again. I think the whole thing looked like Prime remake, right? Until this, this environment right here looks like a cinematic or something. I don't believe that that's something you can actually go to. See, I don't know. I think I'm trying to like parse this here. This is either yes, this is a Switch game, uh, and it'll just be playable on Switch too via back compat backwards compatibility. Or this will have a dual performance mode. You'll yeah. have a Switch version and a Switch 2 version. Or they are lying to us. And that this is not coming out on the Switch. This will be a Switch 2 game. So I think it has to come out on the Switch. Yeah. They already said it's a Switch game. Mm -hmm. Has to come out on the Switch. I think that it will definitely be backwards compatible with the next console. Because yeah. they seem to have a lot of interest in making all their stuff backwards compatible. Uh, there should be a performance mode. It should yeah. run better on the new Switch. Uh, I don't know to what extent they would do that, but mm -hmm. that makes a lot of sense for the, for them for them to do. Uh, hopefully they're learning a lot from all these other uh, uh, handhelds that have been coming out. Yeah, uh, and how they handle different performance modes and how PCs handle different levels of performance. Yeah. Hopefully that this is able to scale in a similar way. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, they can't say that it's a nintendo switch game in this trailer and then have it come out on a completely different console yeah. also there's no there should be like some sort of disclaimer usually in a trailer there's a disclaimer somewhere that says like not actual in game right. footage or like this uh not rendered on a nintendo switch or something mm -hmm. we you know like they would if that if what we just saw was a switch 2 thing It'd be really bizarre for Nintendo not to disclose that this was not captured on a Switch. Right. I mean, we've seen stuff like things get downgraded f after yeah. a while. Not usually from Nintendo, though. Yeah. There's a little bit of stuff like that, but usually... They're pretty good. They're yeah. pretty good. They don't like it. to show a game until it's close to final. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Um, And, like, there's, like dev units that have more ram and stuff yeah. and they're capable of more stuff and they don't have to disclose if it's being run on a dev unit mm -hmm. uh but i think being on a completely different system because people are buying a nintendo switch to play this game yeah you know uh that would be incredibly misleading for them to, mm -hmm. to do that if it's coming out on a, on a completely different system um so yeah my hope is, I mean, I, I'm, I'd be willing to bet a lot of money this is going to be a regular old Nintendo Switch game yeah. releasing uh, in the early half of next year, probably before March or something, or March or prior to get yeah. in before the end of the fiscal year. And 
it'll be backwards compatible with the next uh, console. I think a lot of this stuff would be. And I, that's why I think they're comfortable releasing so much stuff at the end of the life cycle because they must have some sort of way for you to carry your stuff over to, yeah. the, next, to the next game, to the next system. <sighs> so, yeah. So, that's the whole direct. 